What up, B? So, I've just had a couple realizations, and I just wanted to share it with you. You know, like, love is one of them things that you find yourself redefining your entire life. The true definition of love. And I know on this spiritual journey, a lot of people will give you this grandiose idea that, oh, you gotta love everything, you gotta... But that's not it either. And I'm not just talking about love in a relationship, but I'm also talking about love in a friendship, love love in a in a paternal sense, love in a in a brother sister sense, you know, love I mean love all around and it's just really interesting because sometimes it just hits you that you have or had or are currently in a relationship, romantic, platonic that so, I mean, just, it's mind-boggling sometimes to think that somebody loves your authenticity. And I know sometimes it's it's easy to say, well, you need to be authentic. But it's a whole different, it's a whole different frequency. It's a whole different energy. To all of a sudden realize, to see, I don't know what that noise was upstairs. But it's a whole different, it's a whole different um, energy to see and to understand that somebody could could love you for simply existing. That you don't have to do anything. That your authenticity is enough to be loved by somebody. And that may sound really silly, but sometimes for for those who are or have been, you know, in the past, maybe who have shadow worked a lot on self-love and loving yourself better, sometimes it's it's easy to do the healing of I learned to love myself, you know? Where I'm at, not once I attain something, but right now I learn to love myself. And that's a beautiful thing. But it's a whole nother thing to then realize that you have or have had, you know, people or a person in your life who just loved you for your existence. You didn't have to do a single thing. Shit was easy. You, you didn't have to be anybody. There wasn't really any masks. You know, it was just simple. You have a friend, you know, like I I have I have friends now that I just have to exist. I don't have to do anything special. But what I bring to the table is enough, even on my worst day. And I don't know, I just that was just one of the realizations that I've come across. And sometimes you just you get kind of a little bit blindsided by the idea that somebody could love your existence. Like your mere existence is enough. And that's a level that a lot of people try to attain, you know, within themselves. And, and they might struggle to get there. Or struggle holding that frequency. But just keep fucking at it. Just keep at it. Because when you're there, that's the game changer. That's that authenticity that you can't, that's just, that's up there. And a lot of good follows that frequency. But it takes you going through the mud to see it. And if... If you're anybody who's on that self-love, that healing of the self journey, that understanding yourself, that that acceptance, that, you know, just healing yourself. Nobody's fucking told you. Congratulations. And I know I'm proud of you the way I'm proud of people that I that I work with, that I'm friends with when they hit these milestones. It's amazing. It's really amazing. (laughs) 
You need to surround yourself by people who don't love what you can do for them. But who love your existence. In all aspects of things. 5.15 on the clock. Have a good night. Be. And I hope that you find people who love you just because you're breathing. Bye, B.